Hey everybody, well today is October 30th and today we're going to fire up the Hall Switch stove. So today I'm going to show you how we do that. So come on around the back, I'll show you what's done. So what we need to fire up the Hoss is a section of garden hose to fill up the boiler, two gallons of anti-corrosive, a step ladder, and a flathead screwdriver. First thing we have to do is get on the step ladder and disconnect the top portion of the inspection hose so that we can pour the anti-corrosive using a funnel into the main tank. Now since I'm a little bit more vertically challenged than most, I'm going to use a larger ladder. So I'm going to take the uh, first gallon of anti-corrosive. I have a uh, funnel here. Alright, now here in the back part is all the workings for the hoss. Your blower, two pumps. So what I'm going to do is fill it up. You're going to connect the hose to this valve right here. So we're going to twist that on, make sure not to cross thread it. Alright, so now we have the hose connected. What you want to make sure to do is turn this valve, let the water go from your hose into the hoss furnace. All the other valves, you can tell they're open, but they're in line with your hose. If they're turned like that and crossways from it, you know it's off. So we want it on like that. All right, now we're just going to light it and hopefully do one match, one fire. We got a usually use uh, newspapers, but we have a bunch of old uh, house plans that we get from local contractors. On top of the newspaper we have uh, some old scrap lumber from uh, the building project, the uh, off grid house. So we're going to let that go and then have some larger pieces of uh, old uh, pine hand railing. It's seasoned, it'll burn really well. Just have a bunch of scrap 2x4s, poplar wood in the house. We're going to put this on and we're going to flip the switch here on the left hand side and that will turn on the uh, blower inside the hoss. Which make it burn pretty good. Well, we got her going for the winter. Now the trick is keeping with it pretty efficient until we fire up the uh, heat exchanger inside the greenhouse and it starts really burning wood. We'll go last spring we went through about one cord every 10 days uh, maybe a little longer but it just it's so inefficient for the greenhouse but for the regular you know just for the house and our hot water it's really efficient. Um, this winter I'll keep track of the amount of wood it uses and you can keep track of that on our Facebook page, Tale of Two Homesteads. So check us out, like our page. Well Holly called me in to supper, so I'm gonna go in and eat and I'll see y'all later. Bye.